I don't have the man personally, but I'm volunteering to do it. So Volunteer? if you want to get paid to umpire, look before it's too dark. <laughs> so I don't know him personally, but I'm doing it as a volunteer to do it. I am an umpire with Florida Cricket Association. I'm a regular like umpire, and them boys know me. I also play for Point Piano. We're going to have a clean and fair game today. My decision is final. Well said, Empire. We're having fun. Well said. But at the same time, I want the viewers to be respected. You have red card? I have green card, yellow card. <laughs> red card. Red, green, and yellow. So, I'm trying to be in the Hey, in and a blue card. All right, John, John, John. 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 John,
Testing, testing, one, two. I must say a pleasant good day to each and every one. We're here in Orlando at um, Silver Star Playfield. You get Islanders and Myrtle Grove CC always um, playing a 15 over, just a charity game. But as planned, it's planned to be a very exciting game for the day. And that was the first boundary for Tariq, who is um, opening the inning with um, Omari. The score is um, 13 without loss. We're playing a 15 over game today. And as you can see from the outside, it's a beautiful day for cricket. Couldn't ask for anything better. The wind is calm. We're down in a basin that's um, what we'll, one of the thing about this, um, this field, it's a, it's a field that's set like in a basin. But it's a um, very nice field for cricket. And for sure, we're going to have a beautiful day today. Must say a big hello to Mr. Singh. How are you doing, David? John Willoughby. Money Singh. How are you doing up there in New York? Score is 14 without loss. You got Omari and um, Tariq, who is at the crease at the moment. We're playing a 15 over game. As Omari pulled away, the first over was bowled by um, Cressa. Amari just um, turned that round to the leg and um, actually if um, that had hit the stumps it would have been run out. Cressa who played with Amari several times so he was looking for that um, run out if it was hit. But um, good for Omari, it was, um, it went a little high over the stumps. That's the end of the third over, the second over, we are in the third over now. The score is 15 without loss. So Cressa hit that one in the covers for six. Over the over the shot mid off for six. Now he decides that he's gonna drift back deep. Well, that was a beautiful shot by Omari. So the score moves on to 21. That one was dropping the first slip. Omari just pushed at it. And it was floored and first slip.
And I'm always bold from a shot that he went to drive and um, the ball came off the bat, hit the pad, and he was bold. So that's the first wicket for Myrtle Grove. So the new batsman is um, Sheldon, he replaced Omari who had just been bowled by Cressa. For 14, the score is um, 23 for 1. Myrtle Grove up against Islanders, we are here at um, Silver Star in Orlando. And it's another change of bowling. Tariq just turned that to the leg and picks up a single. That's a new bowler I will get his name in just a few, few minutes.
So while we are in the seventh over. Tariku is on 22, Omari at out for 14. The score is um, 52 for, for 1. I, Merle Grove up against Islanders of Orlando. We are here at the Silver Star Orlando Park and he's out leg before. Tariq is out leg before. For 23. Once again, I must say a pleasant good day to each and every one, wherever you are. Mr. Amin, how are you doing? So to the crease is um, Phil Davis who replaced Tariq, so he be joined in um, Sheldon. Sheldon who is in 12. And I can see Sheldon is stripping down a little because I guess the... The weather is getting a little warmer each time it goes during the day. Phil Davis, who is a hard hitting right hander. Ball's very good, also. He's a very good all rounder. Off the mark with the first ball. Yeah, he played down in South Florida for Tropics United. So at the end of the seventh over, I think they will be taking a short water break because um, it's a 15 over game. Well, they're taking some water break in the halfway. It was so funny that um, someone had asked me why they're bowling from one end, only one end. So I explained to him that um, because it's a 15 over game, they'll be go halfway from one end and halfway at the other end. And his question to me, which uh, makes me laugh quite a bit, he said to me, if um, are they going to bowl 7.3 from one end and 7.3 from the opposite? And uh, I failed to answer because um, then I realized he was joking. But that's what it's all about with cricket, to have fun. We're here to have fun and um, today going to be a lot of fun. We'll be enjoying the cricket today. It's a very good day for cricket. So as you can see down there, they are taking some water break. And um, I could hear a couple of people said, is it a water break or a beer break or a rum break? No, they don't do that when they're playing cricket. They would never ever do that when they're playing cricket. Strictly water. HO2, yes. That's what they'll be drinking for cricket. So while we're about to resume, 
while we're about to resume from the refreshment break someone had just uh, made a correction to me that it's um, I should not say water break I should say refreshment break and as the person that I am I comply with what he said so I must remind you that um, this game today is in aid of Everton Cox who had passed away some years ago he's formerly from Islanders Cricket Club down in Miami Alliance sorry um, I say Islanders um, Alliance there's a Islanders he, yeah, it used to be an Islanders down in Miami but um, it was Alliance um, somebody said it's um, that was the better team I'm not gonna go there I will just leave it at that <laughs> so we're here Saturday for some place it may be Sunday maybe Saturday night but whatever it is we're having fun and we will be having fun so I could see um, Sheldon who is um, decide to put his helmet on and stand there be there be switching for the they'll be bowling eight overs from um did i okay i'm just checking to see north or south it seems like from the northern end So while um, game has resumed, we get um, Larry Chalry who will be bowling from the northern end. And um, that one was um, hit down to the long on for just a single. So the score moves to 54, 54 for two. That was a beautiful ball right in the block hole. Sheldon drops his bat on it. That one had gained some height. Sheldon turns on that one but realized it was just above his uh, his eye line and you were able to let it go by to the keeper. That one outside the off stump misses went through to the keeper.
that should be a wide yes signal by the umpire. Move the score to 55 for two. Sheldon swings at that one and get a top edge. They get one. And it seems that's all they would get because it just stopped. The field had stopped it just inside the boundary. The, the umpire signals are wide, which means that um, Sheldon did not get a touch. So they got two for that because they got a run because they run and it's a wide so they got two davis seems like it he was in two mind eventually just drop his bat on it at the end of the over at the end of the eight over score is um 57 for two That one was played in the covers and the, the batsman had missed field so the ball end up for four because he missed field and he pushed that ball for four. That one was played over covers and um, some good feeling out there. Picks up two. there by Sheldon the score moves on to 64 64 for two Well, Sheldon is out leg before. Seems like he's not too pleased, but um, he was given out by the umpire. out for 18 the score is now um 64 for three and to the crease is um young elton tucker jr a promising left arm batsman 
Left arm slow bowler. Orthodox. And just to remind you, we are playing a 15 over game. Islanders up against Myrtle Grove. There'll be another game coming up. This is in aid of um, Everton Cox. That's a drive, straight drive down past the bowler for a single by Tucker. Score moves on to 65. And that was the end of the ninth over. While I got the batsman who had just been out, and um, so it's um, Tucker Jr. just played that one back over the bowlers there. They will be just get a single. Score moves on to 66. 66 for three.
So as I just got an update of the score, the score is 76 and um, you can see that um, Phil Davis had just been put down. As usual, this, this man Phil Davis hits the ball real hard. But um, that's a usually cricket shot, that should be four. School moves on to 81. 81 for three. Got Phil Davis and Tucker Jr. who's at the crease at the moment. And he bowled him. I could see the bowler had gave it a little more here and um, Phil Davis um, with his head up in the air swings and misses and it mid stump was knocked back. So Phil Davis has been out. That's the fourth wicket. Score is 81 for four. So the new batsman who will be replacing Davis is um, Brown, played for Isle St. Best Cricket Club down in South Florida. Eighty-one for four. We're just playing. 15 overs It's a very good left-hander strike the ball real hard Plays it back to the bowler. So it will be Cressel. Was, um, was a good first ball it was right on the stump Tucker swings it was up in the black hole to get a French cut he got two push the score to 83 Another two runs for Tucker Jr. Push the score to 85. I will give you the bowler name in just a few minutes. 
That one he hit it hard and it could be no it falls in no man's land. Just get a single. Score moves to 86. So it will be Brown. Wow, that's a drive over the, the bowler's head for four. As you can see, the ball went all the way just below the camera. Luckily for the bat, for the bowler, he did not touch that ball. If he did, then it's possible we'll be calling the paramedics. Brown swings down to the leg, umpire signals wide. That, I guess the batsman was looking at the umpire with the intention that it should be a wide but um, umpire said that's a good ball and he hit that one that should be six yes it is and also a no ball signal by the umpire no ball and six to Brown. So it seems like that ball had went um, in the shrubs and they, quite a few players are making their way over there to retrieve that ball.
Thank you, Mr. Felix. So Brown plays that one down to And Tucker has been run out. Trying to make that double. So it's the captain, Lesman, always uh, making his way to to the middle. Alderman Lesman. That's down the leg, umpire signals wide. That's a s okay, umpire signals wide also, so that's um. Add uh, two to the score makes it to ninety-nine. So it will be the captain Lesman who will be taking strike. What a beautiful catch! That ball was hit real hard. And I must say as hard as um, the camera unable to follow that ball. And that's why you could see it was like a replay. With um, Chalry. So Lesbon has been out. First ball. Caught in the covers for zero. That one could be out caught. Should be out caught, but it was um, floored by Cressa. Just a little below the camera, and he floored it. I guess he did not even believe himself. We're here at the Silver Star ground in Orlando. It's just a charity game for Everton Cox. And he's out. Run out. 
Brown has been run out. Hesitate for walking back to the pavilion, but the umpire says out, so he don't have a choice. To the crease is um, at the crease. I was Thompson. So replacing Brown is Gaston Walker. Yes, we're here in Orlando. At the Silver Star Ground in Orlando. Thank you. <laughs> Having a fun day in memory of Everton Cox. Passed away some years ago. Very good cricketer. Just tuck one round the leg and picks up a comfortable single at the end of the over. I must remind you that we're playing 15 overs. There's a game followed this one. Having a fun day here. I tend to give this um, field a new name and call it the Basin. For that reason is because the field is pretty much down. We are above looking down. But it's a very good field. Very, it's the first time I'm coming to this field. And I've been to a lot of fields here in Orlando. So it will be Thompson. Should be getting the some updates of the exact score. Well, whatever happens there, um, it seems like the bats, the bowler may may be hurt after eating the stumps. I would tend to think that because you cannot wear a stud on that pitch, me maybe the shoe he may be wearing. I could see now he's pushing his um his right foot, and um, they're gonna be a problem, it seems, because you cannot wear a stud on that pitch, and maybe his shoes is um got no grip obviously he's gonna try it again but with the speed that he run in he may have a problem 
Brown swings that one square of the wicket. The shoot picks up two. So the score is 100 and 109. We are in the 14th over. We got Blair and Thompson, who is at the crease at the moment. So after the 14th over, the score is. Uh, 110 and I must remind you all that um, we are playing 15 overs for this game I think the next game should um, goes back to 20 over as usual 2020 this game was reduced because of the late start A late start because they were the field was a little wet, so they have to get it dried out a little. So 
the last last over that was played down to Langhoff fielded by Cressa get a single that was Blair score moves to 111 that should be four yes Thompson waited for that one and um, hit it down to Cow Corner for four. Thompson now moves on to 12 while the score moves on to 115. while they're tweaking the field just a little see Cressa moving from long off to long on and he bowled him while Thompson backed away to hit over covers backed away too far and get his um, mid and off stump scattered So while we got just one over to the last over, we are in the last over. And thanks for the many calls that is coming in. I understand this ground was called Silver Star Bowl. So while I was um, giving it my own name, call it the Basin, pretty much close. We're here in Orlando. Islanders at the moment going up against Myrtle Grove from down in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale area. Just a fun day. Remembering Everton Cox passed away some years ago. It was a very sad moment. As he was known all over in the cricket fraternity. So it's Mr. Felix Bisnard. Plays that one in the covers. It should get two. And that was an easy two. And this is the last over. Bisnard plays that one back past the bowler, fielded by Cressa. He picks up a single. Score moves to 118. This should be the last ball. And he hit that one hard and high and um, it should fall in no man's land. Actually it falls in no man's land because so they end up getting two with a run out. The score moves should be 120. Um, this is not the official score, but um, it should be 120 after the 15 overs. So we will be back in about 
I'm gonna say about um, 15 minutes because it's um, it's a charity game. They may spend a little more time on the bench. As you can see, the spectators are coming in. So we will be back in about um, 15 to 20 minutes. So while we are back live for the second half of the game, Islanders of Orlando up against Merle Grove CC from down there in Fort Lauderdale. Merle Grove um, took first strike, they made 120 in the 15 overs. The overs were caught from 20 to 15 each. So, Islanders will be chasing down 120. You got Phil Davis who will be opening the ball in from the northern end. So it will be the first ball from Davis from the northern end. That was a short ball. The batsman saw it early, tend to hook, but decided that um, there was more height than he had expected. Let it go through to the keeper, who is um, Alderman Lesmond. Last one plays that one on the leg side fielded by Thompson. No run. Mr. Rowe, how are you doing? Damien? Earl Stevens. I was told that you're on your way up here to Orlando. There's another game going on after this. All there will be another game going on after this. So don't think that um, this is the last game. No, there's another game. So come on up. Please don't speed now. Massman plays it to the leg. Fielded by Young Tucker. He gets a single. Just about um, 12.41. I was told that um, it's in the mid 80s. It's very warm on the outside. While I'm also on the outside, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm under the umbrella. Bassman swings and misses, went through to the keeper. It's 
score is two without loss. Islanders chasing 120 made by Myrtle Grove. Mr. Joshi, how you doing? Dwight. You can hear in the background they try to get the attention of the feelers by asking for the name of the batsman of the bowler make that the bowler so at the end of the first over the score is um, four without loss you got Gaston Walker will be taking over from Phil Davis That was some good feeling there by Blake out in the covers. While well, they get a single, but for sure, if that was a, a hit stump, then he would have been gone. That one was tickled down the leg that picks up a single. Two more to the score. Makes it a ten. So the skipper had just um, tweaking the field because he realized that um, the batsman is playing quite a bit too to the leg Second over the score, 11 without loss, Islanders chasing 120 made by Myrtle Grove. That was a good bounce but the batsman was even at it much better. 
pulls it down to the leg, picks up two. That should be four. Yes, it is signaled by the umpire. So I guess Davis should realize that um, he's bowling a little too short. Now that one was all the way up, but the umpire signals wide. Davis didn't think so, but that's the reason why he's not the umpire. That's another wide signal by the umpire. Wow. That was a full blooded drive there back past the bowler for four. beautiful ball started on the off stump and just moves away further to the offside the batsman swings to the leg misses So at the end of the third over, the score is um, 24. 24 without loss.
Mr. Jason Older, how are you doing? Justin Older. Not Jason, Justin. Someone had asked me if from um, your brother, if from Barbados. I told them I am not 100% sure. I know it's the same last name, but um, I wouldn't be able to tell. I know they both play cricket. That was easy too. They played um, on the leg side, fielded by Thompson. Batsman picks up two. Batsman pick up two. And that's the end of the fourth over. Score moves on to 28. 28 without loss. It will be a change of bowling from the. I keep saying the northern end. They are bowling from the northern end. It will be Brown who will be blow, bowling his um, left arm spin.
while we get a little interference with the audio we back live to continue Mr. Gary Grant are you doing? Is this the same Gary Grant? <laughs> I must say a big hello to you sir, how you doing? We're here in Orlando at Silver Star Bowl. Islanders is batting up a moment. Chasing a total of 120 made by Myrtle Grove. And yes, this is um, just a 15 overs each. We are bowling half from one end and half from the next. Or should I say seven from one end and eight from the other. Very good day for cricket. A beautiful cricket field up here in Orlando. I was told that the minor league, some of the minor league games played here last year. So that's the first wicket. The bowler is um, Tucker Jr. The batsman is um, Freddie. Freddie is one of the veteran here in Orlando. The man who took the catch was Sheldon. Very safe and down here at Long Off. Score is um, 38 now for one. We're in the seventh over. I would think that um, they would take a water break after this over, which they did on the First inning, they took the water break after the seventh over. It's a fun day today in aid of Everton Cox. Passed away a couple years ago. He was a very good cricketer. He played in New York, he played in South Florida, and also here in Orlando. So to be Tucker to continue from the, he's bowling from the northern end. in the field just to see if they could win this first game still pretty much in the balance Mr. Hashman are you doing there will be another game after this game Islanders chasing 120 made by Myrtle Grove. The 
It was a full-blooded drive back past the bowler. It was slightly fielded, so they were able to pick up a single. Leg by single by the umpire. Umpire called the refreshment break. I was told not to call it water break. For some special reason, they said it's not a water break. Don't laugh, it's a refreshment break. HO2 and what else? <laughs> So they'll be taking a short break and I will be back in a short while. So while we are just about resuming, it's Thompson who will be bowling the first over from the southern end. The batsman um, picks up a single. Oh, they hit that one. Don't you? Deep mid off, they picks up a single. It's a good feeling down there on the in the corner area by Omari Williams. So you got the the captain who is um, tweaking the field, Mr. Lesman is Thompson in. Batsman swing hard and high. It could be out. No, it should be a six. Yes, signal by the umpire. Has just went over the head of Omari for six. This is not the official score, but I got 60. I mean, I make that 50, my mistake. 50 for one.
It's Dwayne Thompson who is bowling from the southern end. The batsman swing that one down the leg, fielded by Tucker Jr. Hurled it into Thompson, picks up a single by the batsman. Another single that was fielded by Felix Bisnert. Throw it to the bowler's end. The batsmen were home safely for single. Lots of action is going on here at the Silver Star Ground in aid of Everton Cox. It's Brown who takes over the ball in from Thompson. Batsman gets a single. So that was uh, another wicket that was lightning fast by the keeper, the keeper, the captain, and he was out stump. To the crease is um, Larry.
tour is now um, 6943. We are in the tent over. Mr. Thomas, how are you doing? And I must remind you that we are playing a 15 over game. Myrtle Grove had made 120 in their 15. Islanders reply, so far they got um, 69 for three. We are in the 10th over. And I must remind you all that um, there's another game coming up soon. So if you started to make your way over And he's out caught. Well, I must say, I've never seen a catch like that, that it um, should be, everyone would say, should put a little more effort in it, but the, the field was so comfortable. That's, um, if I could see, that's Blair. That was a good catch. I understand the batsman that got out. It's a batsman that um, you don't want to give a chance because he can turn the heat on. So at the moment, the score is pretty. The game is pretty much. Um, I would say 50-50 can go any which way. So you may be wondering why the game is going so slow. It's really um, a fun day. It's a fun day. So and he could be out. Umpire saying not out. The batsman is wondering why. The keeper is wondering why. The bowler is wondering why. But the umpire says not out. Thompson, any balls and um, this one was hit. Again, the umpire says not out. And as they say, this is a gentleman's game. The game will always go on under whatever condition. The batsman swings that one down to the leg, square of the wicket, fielded by Blair. He picks up a single.
We're having fun here up in Orlando. Lots of fun. Looking out on the field, we got Felix Bisner, we got Phil Davis, we got um, Tariq, Sheldon, Omari Williams, Tucker Jr. We got Brown, the Brown from that plays with um, St. Bess, the keeper Lesman, captain. Gaston Walker, we got Blair. Thompson. Vinton Crawford, veteran. That one was hit square of the wicket. They should pick up a single. And yes, we we're just sitting here in the park having fun. It's a fun day. In aid of Everton Cox. A cricketer who was around us for some time. He played in New York, he played in South Florida. And he's out caught by Phil Davis. Another wicket by Tucker Jr. His father got to be proud of him wherever he are right now. He's getting prepared for the Minor league will be coming up in June. Expect to make his second year. He played last year, which was the first year, which was um, he played for the Fort Lauderdale Lions. So that was another wicket went down. The score is not official, but I got 70, 71. We should be in the 12th over. There will be a second game coming up after. Mr. Levy, how are you doing? Antoine Singh. Thanks for watching. That was a good ball from Thompson. His usual leg breaks. For sure, giving the batsman some kind of trouble. <laughs> batsman swings that one over covers it get four yes it just went into the boundary for four a 
after so many tries he finally got one over the field ahead who is on the 30 yards Should be the end of the 13th over, but um, I gotta get some confirmation from the official scorer. It's Gaston Walker who will be who is back to bowl his um, third over. And each bowler is allowed to bowl three overs.
score is now 85 and this if I'm correct could be the last over This first game, it's um, only 15 overs per side. Because of a late start that was cut down from 20 overs to 15 overs. And the late start was because there was, um, the field was just a little wet. So, they did have to give the ground some time to dry out. That's the end of the 15 overs. So Myrtle Grove has won the first game. Myrtle Grove made 120 in their 15 overs. And um, Islanders reply with um, 85. So we, there's another game that is coming up in, should be about 15 minutes or so. So stay tuned. So Myrtle Grove came out on top for the first game. Looking forward for the second, the starting of the second game in a short while from now. So until then, my friends, um, just stay tuned. We'll be back in a short while. <laughs> 